and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For another donation deck here, we have Simic Mowu. That's right, we're playing Mowu Loyal Companion, the goodest of boys here. This sweet looking doggo is going to be in our deck, hopefully trampling um, over some other some opponents very vigilantly. I know, Hawkeye, you're the best too. Hawkeye's like, but I'm the best. So yeah, so it's four mana, three, three, trample, vigilant, one or more counters placed on Mowu. Put that many, plus one. So you just get to add an extra counter every time. So is Mowu like one of the best cards for constructed? No, but it's awesome. Mowu is really cool. And uh, we're going to be playing it. So that's what that's that's what this uh, donation deck's about. Um, yeah, that is a, that is a ripped doggo, though. Let's <laughs> try hard at the gym, for sure. Uh, yeah, besides that, we have a pretty uh, regular blue-green deck, right? Like our, our mana creatures, our Risen Reefs to help us ramp. We've got some really good Planeswalkers with Vivian, Nyssa. The Hydras are, are, you know, very good quality cards. Then we also have Pollen Bright Druid, which can put a counter, you know, technically two, on the Mowus, or can proliferate, um, which could be pretty nice. You know, proliferating could add counters to the Hydras. We can add counters to our Planeswalkers as well. And if Vivian is putting a bunch of counters on different stuff, you know, we can then proliferate it to uh, make our creatures even bigger there. Um, and if, you know, if, the, if we're making lands, lands have, uh, get counters, you know, proliferate those things up too. So we got a pretty nice little shell here to put Mowu and Pollen Bright Druid in. So let's go ahead and, and play some games here. See how our donation deck does for us today. See how many wins we can get. Simic Mowu. Mowu. Yeah, why don't they make like Voracious Hydra Mowu or something? You know, switch the two or something. <laughs> now you don't have to be nervous. It's okay. Even if the deck does great, it's awesome. If the deck doesn't do great, it's awesome still. Life's good, so no no reason to be nervous whether or not the deck will do good. I think it will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. So we'll have the Temple of Mystery first, where we'll scry looking for another land. Then we'll have turn two land of war, turn three Vivian, turn four these things. So whether even though we're playing land war off on turn two, we're still not really... We don't have anything that we'd be playing on turn three anyway, so like it, it works out. We just need to find a basic or a shock land to unlock the harbors. Spark double, spark doubling Mowu already adds a counter, so it's a it's a four mana five five. Trample vigilant. That's pretty cute. And you have even more Mowus too. Yeah, I mean, like these are these are interaction spells, right? Like Voracious Hydra fights, Vivian fights, or deals damage to creatures and planeswalkers. We have we have interaction. It's not it's not the most interaction ever, but it's interaction. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I'm strong will land war. Him. Look at that! Build your my own my. wild you That's what we're doing over here. Hmm. Like I, I should be playing Nissa, but I also kind of just want to attack him and beat him down with these with the elves. Because um, like the the problem with playing Nissa is if they counter it, like right, if they play Nissa, they count. If we play Nissa, they counter it, then our turn is pretty bad. Hmm. 
We're fit enough to survive. All right, <clears throat> how's this 4-4 elf gonna do for us? I hope they had Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, like they might like they might have had Cry of the Carnarium because we we pumped up our Landwar elf on our turn three on the play, and they're like looking at their Cry of the Carnarium. Like it doesn't kill anything. We could minus five the Vivian here and go grab like shifting ceratops from our side, Brad. Hmm. Or frilled. Oh man, I forgot about frilled mystic. Yeah, frilled mystic is perfect here. Wait, what? They let just let me have Nissa? Wait, what? Arkbo, bring me an ally. Dude, Vivian going and grabbing Frilled Mystic is pretty sweet. Because we're just like ahead. They gotta play stuff, we counter it their stuff. Yeah, probably negate, right? Yeah. Yep, I agree with y'all. I bet they have negate there. So they didn't take Nessa. It's the only explanation that makes some sense. So I don't want to play into negate. We don't really need to. All right, we got game number one. We didn't get to draw Mo Wu, but Mo Wu's loyal companion Vivian got us there. So Veil Summer negate. <clears throat> Those are certainly in. Probably want the Ceratops as well. And Frilled Mystic. I was thinking like we could keep Frilled Mystics in the sideboard to grab, but no, we're not. That's not the thing to do. All right, bring those into. We'll cut Voracious Hydra, Pollen Bright Druid, and maybe one Vivian. We're not bringing out. We're not taking out Mowu, ever, right? Or do I need to cut? Do I need to take out one Mowu so that Vivian can minus five and grab Mowu? Or do I take out like you know shifting Ceratops or whatever? Losing one isn't a real crime. I'll just take out Shifting Ceratops. Oh, it's probably going to be better. Well, the Ceratops that we can minus five for. Not a great hand. That's acceptable. It's not ideal. Dun, dun, dun. 
Now this is the eternal this this avatar is the eternal army. That's what this represents, like the Nicol Bolas's eternal army. Mowu. Oh, the shadow? Oh, yeah, the shadow. I guess that's me. Thought I had shadows turned off. Yeah, I have shadows turned off. I guess that's still there. That's not. That doesn't count as a shadow. Hmm. I guess I really need to play stuff, because they, they don't have any incentive to play anything. All their stuff's like reaction spells anyway. Resonary, that's a good one. Land. Get that green source. Darn. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. We're fit enough to survive. I think, you know, we play Nessa, our lands are probably going to die. Kind of like having this Arcbow Ranger out here. Arcbow Ranger makes my Mowu better. That's what I'm all about. Making this Mowu better. If I could... If I had enough to be able to play the Nyssa and hold up for Old Mystic, I would like to do that, but we don't. Alright, Mawu. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Time. The Loyal Companion. The past, present, and meditate. And <laughs> Already prepare. OP. It's a 6-6. Six, six. It's so big. How are they supposed to deal with that? They can't. It's too big. Um, I really should keep up for Old Mystic here. Gotta protect... Our loyal puppers. We're fit enough to survive. Block. This was overwhelming. Yep, Mowu. Yeah, Mowu is too legendary for a cast down. Bleh. I guess that eats the frilled mystic. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Can't cast down. Can't legions end. Can't enter the God Eternals. 
It's like Noxious Grasp or Bust. No, Breeding Pool adds a green and a blue. Nissa says that whenever you tap a forest, add an additional green. So, so Breeding Pool would add a green and a blue I've seen too many species from Nissa. So we couldn't do like the play Nissa untap like a forest and have blue, blue, and green, green up. My heart beats in unison with the wild. Get them, puppers. Watch out. Chomp them. They bite. That's right, they bite. What a good puppers. Mo the focus and keep an open mind. Mo Wu getting there? The loyal companion. Simic Doggo. Wanna know. And that that game was all Mo Wu. Yeah, can't cast down Mowu. Too legendary. Yeah, Vraska Ugin. Um, Noxious Grasp is the card that I was thinking. Like, you know, that, that's like their their good, real good answer. <laughs> good boy, Mowu. Man, we're we're playing. We're playing some sweet decks today. You know, we got Mill. We got Mono Black Aggro. We got Mill. We got Mowu. If Mowu wasn't a legend before, he is now. <laughs> Head pats Mowu. <laughs> Heal Mowu down. Oh, that's that's good. Gotta be careful, because he'll mow you down. Mowu down. Yeah, Mowu is also historic. Yep. Wherever Yangu goes, Mowu follows. Sometimes at his side, sometimes obscuring him from his view entirely. Mowu. All right. Well, Escape Shift is like the anti-fun deck. We need to, we need to draw Vivian so that we could have like Vivian make Mowu super big again. Nissa, not quite. So I should I should probably just keep ramping with these Risen Reef. Uh, Krasis. That doesn't mean I draw Krasis here. I guess that's good with Nissa, but that's not it's not a land. I kinda wanted a land. It's like the the only like that's like the best thing. Ooh, a Hadana's in here? Yeah, Hadana's climb could be pretty awesome. That is true. Yeah, Hadana's Climb could be pretty awesome. That that card works really well with Mowu. Gets that counter on Mowu. Power 
ravages through these lands. Rise, my elemental friend. Woo! Good puppers. Yeah, then we got then you get flying doggos with Adonis climb. Let's slow this down. I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I'm gonna do Krasis for twelve. We don't. Mobus are legendary. We don't need extra Mobus. So we we want to be able to see more more doggos on the screen. See doggo, doggo, doggo. Yeah, spark double. This you can have more Mobus. <laughs> Think of the doggos. <laughs> Airbud with Hadana's climb turned Mo into Airbud. All right, so time wipe. That's too bad. Oh, I should have blocked Deputy because of time wipe. I should just let my Risen Reef be out there. But where's our lands at? There we go. You don't see it very much time wipe in scape shift decks. You see it sometimes, but not very often. Planar cleansing, that is even worse than time wipe. Well, it doesn't kill my force at least, but it killed Denissa. Nissa and Druid, we can't, we can't play Nissa and Druid. If we play, if we play Nissa, we only have one mana because we have to tap this thing. We could untap one of these, but it's only one mana. So we go like, so I think it's either Nissa and Land War Elf or Mogu and Land War Elf. Where Mogu, if we play that, the next turn we like Vivian Mogu and start making Mogu like really big and hard to block and stuff. But, like, Nyssa isn't, like, doing anything against these zombies. And just makes my lands even more vulnerable. Like, the Mowu can actually kill them. Looks 
So now I can go like I can go Vivian and Paul and Bright Druid here. Man, that planar cleansing. That was something else. Basically, if they have a deputy detention, I'm dead. If they have a scapegoat, I'm dead. I mean, basically, if they have cards, I'm I'm not gonna win. I'm not really gonna play around anything. There's nothing really to play around. We're just gonna try to make a really big doggo. I am Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you. That's my plan, next. really big doggo. This will be fun to watch. Anger only gets me so far. I don't think I want. I don't know if I want Vivian to kill the Krasis. I'd rather draw a land here and Voracious Hydra to kill the Krasis. That'd be ideal. If we don't draw a land, I'm basically no matter what we do, I'm not gonna like it. I'm known for my excellent type. I'm not letting them bounce Mobu. That's not happening. It's not happening. All right, well, their deck's really good, <laughs> and I don't, I don't know how we win. Honestly, like, their deck's just really good. Um, we're gonna try. We're gonna try countering some stuff. Uh, I don't think shifting ceratops is any good. Just dies to two zombies. Is good Melody Krasis? No, well, they have Teferi and everything. All right, fast ramp. That's always good. Let's see if we get some top end. We have we have the three temples that help us scry towards top end. 
I'll start with forest on turn one, then we'll start, you know, with the temples on turn two. So we can go forest and then into leafkin. Nineteen under said, uh, "Not sure why for Field of Ruin is not in every deck. Not Field of the Dead. Field of Ruin to blow up Field of the Deads, presumably." All right, good scry. Yeah, we don't need dogs touching any filthy zombies. Let them have this game. <laughs> yeah, they can. They can have this. That's right, we don't want our dogs getting near zombies. Oh, I don't have... I don't have two blue. I should have played Island here to hold up Frilled Mystic. I was thinking, okay, well, I'll just keep my four mana, have Frilled Mystic. Okay, well, they didn't have a, didn't have a spell. Good, didn't have Teferi. They didn't have it last turn. Close your eyes, breathe, and listen to the sounds of the wild. <laughs> Stomping time. Our scries have been good for us, though. Put three lands at the bottom. So that's good. Very well timed scries. Yeah, Escape to Dead is pretty horrible to play against when yeah, you don't have any Legion's Ends or Blood Suns or, or Blood Moons, I mean or yeah, Blood Suns or you know, Unmoored Ego, you know, like it's 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 rough. This will be fun to watch. So I I could could minus five Vivian next turn four Mowu. I got a Mowu in the board. That's fine. Oh wait, that it's gonna just return the juvenator. Get Ceratops. No, we got it. Let's just keep this trample going. This will be fun to watch. Twelve trample when they're at thirteen. You know, even if they double. You know, even if they block with both of them. Put them down to three. Yeah, it could be another time wipe. I hope not. Right on 
on schedule. They're just gonna have instant speed scape shift now. No, they well, bouncing. I've done the hero thing before. Man, Vivian is... Vivian's keeping us in this here, that's for sure. Yeah, Dino has Trample, yes, but... If we get... If we get Dino... Then Frilled Mystic doesn't have Trample. Or I can just put the two counters on the Frilled Mystic, make it seven trample. And they have to block with, you know, crazy, like basically everything. So three, four, five, six. I guess they, they do get to trade though, but they have to they trade with everything for the Frilled Mystic. If I get Ceratops, they do have to chump block Ceratops with something else. So like they they have to block the Ceratops with the 2-2, two, two, and then they can have these two trade with Frilled Mystic. It is it is better to get Ceratops. The multiverse thrives with wonderful creatures. There's no difference whether they play their next thing instant speed or not, I don't think. Wow, they just threw it. They did not know this thing had trample. All right. So not only do they have planar cleansing, but they also have time wipe. It's so gross. I guess the Ceratops is better than this Pollen Bright Druid. The Druid didn't look too great there in that game. Hey, we got... <clears throat> we got a game. So we got a game. No, I, I think I'd, we just want all the Frilled Mystics we possibly can in the main deck. Like, we just want to... Like, it is, not, it is nice to get with, with Vivian, of course, but... Um, you know, like... I just want Frilled Mystic. Because, like, Vivian ticking... Like, continually ticking up is good for us, too. Giving our creatures trample, making them bigger, try to get over the zombies. Yeah, Fred, that's what, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing today. Besides, besides the do donation deck that we're doing right now, but yeah, Throwback Thursdays, making decks with uh, little used rares and mythics that are about to rotate out, give them a chance to shine. Um. What did you take out to make room for Frilled Mystic out of the main deck? Oh, or what I what I sideboard out? I sideboarded out um, the Pollen Bright Druids and one Mowu. 
Admiral Beckett. Yeah, that's what next. Yep, next week. Next Thursday. That is the plan. Is the three color mythics. We're gonna go Admiral Beckett, Brass, Moldratha, and Arcades. Those are those are three for sure. This week we did um, patient rebuilding with the mill deck. We did um, Rowdy Crew with Jund Reanimate, which that deck was pretty impressive. And with Bono Black Aggro, we had um, Ruin Raider, which was also was also very good, and uh, the other card, um, Dread Dread Shade. There you go, Dread Shade. Dread Shade. Yeah. So I think I I I want to just try to get a lot more mana here because I want to be able to like play stuff and hold up for old Mystic and Negate. There we go. That's good. Oh um yeah, I guess I keep that. I prefer to land, but so yeah, they could scape shift here. Do I want another temple though? Temple is just land, and I won't land. But now, like, the Risen Race is going to hit more, a bunch more lands for us. Yeah, the decks the decks are up there on the Stream Decker page. All the other, the all the decks are up on the YouTube channel also. All the videos, the, the all the videos are up on the YouTube. They're all uploaded there. So you can, you can go there, check them out. And yeah, you can get the links to the Stream Deckers from, from the YouTube channel also, of course. All right, we can beat a 4-4. Four, four. Was I supposed to just play Risen Reef this turn to try to get a whole lot more mana? So I'm thinking, like, play Mo Wu, have up Negate. Next turn, play Vivian, have Negate still. I guess I was supposed to just play Mo Wu. Or play, sorry, play Risen Reef. Dang. Discard two cards. <sighs> I kind of need all these cards. I, mean, I guess I could get rid of a Mowu. Oh, how am I beating this 4 4 if I get rid of Mowu? I think I get rid of Breeding Pool. Leafkin. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the breeding pool. If I if I just dis ditch Leafkin, they're like, oh, they have two mana that they didn't that they they could have played Leafkin Druid and they didn't. Yeah, a bunch of Risen Reef triggers. We should get more lands. Double scape shift gets me. Um, that's way too many zombies.
I don't know if I'm allowed to com complain about double scape shift when I have four risen reefs, but I'm still going to complain about it. <laughs> All right, one and one. Let's let's not get paired against Scape Shifts or Vampires. Those decks are really really good. I just want to play, you know, I want to get paired against like the blue black deck again, so we can play some Mowus and beat beat people down with Mowus. I don't want my good doggos around any. Nasty vampires and zombies. Land. Darn. Our Risen Reefs have not done a very good job of helping us ramp. Lands. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's better. Of course, it <clears throat> obviously would have been better last turn because we would have been able to play Leaf Kindred also. All right, Deputy is a problem. Um. So I could play a big Hydrocrasis here, but if we wait a turn, it's going to be so much bigger. Because these Leafkin Druids adding two mana. Obviously, I say wait a turn and opponent has Thought Erasure. <laughs> Because, you know, it would have just been a 5... Like, if I would have cast it, it would have been a 5-5. Five, five. So we would have drawn two cards. If we wait one turn, it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a 10-10. Ten, ten. We draw five cards. We just we would be able to draw an extra three cards for waiting there. I mean, I think that's worth it, making it a 5-5 five, five or a 10-10. Ten, ten. With the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. Hmm. I'd get out of the way if I were you. They're down to just one card in hand, which is not many. We don't necessarily lose. It's not like the game's over. They just have one card. We draw one of our four voracious hydras. They die. Ah, well, you're annoying. Mawu. Good doggo. My, my, how you've grown. This isn't a fight you can win. You need to slow down. Wow. Getting rid of my doggo. The definition of rude.
Hey, JRC, thanks for staying on that seven month I'm streak love here. Holding this grudge. Everybody, get your hype boats there for our resub. And we are at that sub number 19 on the day. So just one subscriber away from our next sub goal. I might as well display this thing. I protect that which cannot protect itself. The land fights for us. Thanks there, JRC. You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm about to draw this Mowu. We need to move quickly. That's a good, good card. I don't like letting them loot more. My strength fades. All right, this one's over. Bunch of deputy detentions. Definitely want entrancing melodies. Don't want Paul and Bright Druid. I'll trim one Mo Wu. So then we get a couple of Veil of Summers and Frill Mystics. Frill Mystics kind of expensive, but it is very good. Yeah, I'll go, I'm gonna go Ceratops instead of Frill Mystic. Well, yeah, deputy. All those main deck deputies make sense right now because <clears throat> if everyone's trying to beat, like that's that's a good way to, to build Esper. What our opponent has here, if you're trying to beat, um, uh, what's it called, <clears throat> scape shift, obviously. But then, like as you said, but scape shift and vampires, like deputy is really good against vampires too. So it's it's very good in both those matchups. Voracious Hydra, that's what we needed last game. Where were you at last game? No, don't take my Mowu. Move it around. Can't find it. We can't take it. Ooh, they, they took a Hydra. They're trying to grab Mowu. Let's draw Vivian or Nissa. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Don't worry, I got this. Or Risen Reef.
This is hardly my worst defeat. <laughs> no, it doesn't shuffle for our opponent. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That doesn't do anything for our opponent. Like whenever you do that. Sorry, I'm late. No, I am not making this up as I go. Hmm. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Be wary of the ground you walk on. <clears throat> if I do it the other way, I could play Mo Wu or Vivian also, but this way. Gets to ferry out of there. I must seek comfort in the land. Basically, like, how important is it to kill this hero right now? It's probably not that important. I go Mo Wu and Vivian. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. We're fit enough to survive. Mawu. I know my responsibility. That's my opponent's a jerk. That was the third time Teferi has gotten rid of Mawu. Teferi is a huge jerk. Fairy's allergic to dogs. It's obviously they have a wrath, but I can't counter it because of this stupid Teferi. You know, because I could grab Furled Mystic, but I can't. So you're just Krasis for five and draw two with Krasis here. Or I could just pass. I said just Krasis for five and draw two, though. Or Krasis for six, because this thing adds two. Yeah, let's draw three. Yeah. 
Yeah, I could fight Teferi. I were you. Here we go. But then I wouldn't be able to minus five to fairy. Or minus five Vivian. My, my, how you've grown. Let's try this. Like, if Teferi was at, like, you know, like, three loyalty, I would have killed it. You know, we got a couple of turns here to see if we just kill Teferi anyway. Alright, Mo Wu, get rid of this Teferi. Now what? With my aim and their claws, you're done. Alright, so Teferi's still out of there. Correct. Yes, Vivian is says outside the game. Wow, what a jerk. Just always taking my Mowu. Huh. You're lower than worms. Alright, our first spell drawn. Ever since that crisis for three. We're fit enough. Finally to drew a spell. Down to nine. Wow. Mind and All right, down to six. In unison, like wind and wave. Oh, come on. I have just the trick for this. Hey, Stone Rain. Thanks for that tier one sub, our 20th sub of the day. Y'all get a bunch of hype in the chat. Thank you much. Thank you very much, there, Stone Rain. I'll return with larger. Man, Mo Wu is gonna kill our opponent. And it was gonna be great. So we got two sub goals today towards our next twelve hour stream. You're welcome, Stone Rain. Thanks for that support. I appreciate that. Hey, it's all good, Fire Fiery Aspen.
It's a fun deck to play. It's fun to play Mowu in standard. We got we got one opponent really good with Mowu. One opponent couldn't handle it. The goodest of boys. Good pupper there. Um, but yeah, as we talked about before, Mowu and Pollen Bite Bright Druid are a little weak for standard. Um, but that's all right. We talked about like, you know, just replacing it with like Cavalier Thorns and is like a way to go. But, um, but yeah, good pup Mowu. Well done. Well done here, Mowu. Good job, puppers. All right. So there we go. That's Simic Mowu. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this one too. Hope you enjoyed some good puppy dog action here. But thanks so much for watching. Oh, also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons. There you go. Didn't miss that. <laughs> but thanks for watching Simic Mowu, and I'll see you for the next video. Those are two really good decks that we lost to, Escape Shift and Esper Hero. No, no shame in losing to those.